Mark Hauser again. If you notice, I'm still in the same clothes. That's because I just did the other one and I'm doing another one so that I don't have to be on a Friday instead of a Monday getting this this, this uh, blog to you. But it, we are been working on a new project that is going to be just totally turning uh, marketing for, for public testing into viral scenarios. And tell me this doesn't tickle your tongue, tickle your toes. Taking a little $10,000 claim, not only making the the amount that you would make as a public adjuster off it, but making an additional between four to five thousand dollars legally and morally off of that same claim and really making a big difference for a lot of families. That's what we're working on. So um, it probably won't be talked about maybe until June or July of, of 2016. So that's what's going on with that. But today we're going to be talking about man made versus God made or God made versus man made, however you want to put it, who you want to put first. Now, if something's made by man, it's made in lots. And in lots, one lot's not going to be exactly the same as the next lot, just automatically. You can take a tile from another lot, put it down and look at it, and it'll just be, you, you can see it. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Um, now, man made. Man made is always going to be that way. God made, not so much. God made is when you're having, um, you know, white oak is white oak. Uh, southern pine is southern pine. You know, uh, those kind of materials are always the same. Okay. Uh, maple is always going to be maple. Cherry is always going to be cherry. Um, even granite, you'll find granite that's made from the same, it's brought from the same quarry. So unless those quarries are totally destroyed and it's just not available anymore, which um, even so, there's still stuff out on the marketplace on almost everything that's been out there. So it's not like you can't get it if it's been made by God. And made by God, it, it's always there. It's always available. Made by man, not so much. Okay? So that's your argument when you're dealing with an insurance adjuster is that, you know, this is made by man. This is not made by God. God, I would agree with you with. Man, not so much. Okay? And um, that's it. Now, real quickly, let's talk about uh, this association. This association, Property Adjustment National Association, is getting ready to literally turn the tables on um, the way things are done in this industry. We're actually going to be combining two different industries, putting them together, to make a very powerful base. And then from there, we're going to be uh, doing some branding with the association and different things. And actually, basically for the cost of the education, by the time we're done, it's like purchasing multiple locations of an H&R block. That kind of profitability. Now, they're profitable for only a certain period of time. This would be the same kind of profitability, but for all the time. And um, so... Keep us in mind. If you are thinking about becoming a public jester, we're here for you. If you already are a public jester, but you're just sitting there going, man, it's really difficult to get good people to do right things and all that kind of stuff. And just, you know, I'm just, you know, uh, you know, sometimes certain people can be flaky and it doesn't always produce it consistently. And that's what I'm looking for is a nice, consistent, persistent way of making money. And um, we can help you with that. We can also help you with beating up the insurance companies and making sure that they do what's right. And we can help you to understand more details on the claim that you're already working on. And I don't care if you're a contractor. I don't care if you think that you're an IA that actually knows a lot of stuff, which you don't. Nor a contractor that really knows all the stuff and that you don't. Because you don't do everything. And we do. And we're here to help you to make sure that you can become the best public adjusting firm, bar none, in your area. Okay. It's Mark Hauser saying, always lovely talking to you. See you next week.